Hey guys, today I want to talk to you about how God doesn't listen. One of the amazing things about God is he listens to our prayers. But one of the greatest things about God is if you start praying negative things or bad things concerning your life, that's when he would choose not to listen. He shuts his ears off from the negative. And this is something that works in our favor. Before I became the person that you're listening to right now, I prayed negative prayers at different times in my life. I let things discourage me. And I used to pray things that were horrible. I even prayed not to be alive anymore. I told God to take me away from this earth. I didn't want to be involved anymore. And I thank God every day that he did not listen to me because sometimes when you're going through negative parts of your life and you're really feeling down in the dumps you can let your emotions get the best of you and God knows this that's why he shuts his ears off as soon as you start speaking the negative he doesn't even allow himself to hear those type of prayers. And boy, oh boy, is that a good thing for us. What if he was to bring about all of the things that we say that are negative? A lot of us wouldn't be here right now. But God knows the future that he's playing for your life. He knows the abundance that he wants to bring about in your life. So he forgives us for saying those negative things. He even does us one better. He tells the angels to stop that message from even getting to his doorstep. So he never heard all of the negative things that you said in prayer. And that is a wonderful gift from God. So, if you've been saying negative things over your life and speaking negative prayers to God and praying for the wrong thing, you can go ahead and forgive yourself because God has already forgiven you. And as a matter of fact, he never even heard Whatever it was that you prayed for, if it was negative. It's so great that God listens to our prayers. But it's almost even greater that he knows when not to listen to us. Because he knows the plan that he has laid out for your life. And he knows not to bring about those negative things that we've said when we start feeling down or get into emotional despair. Now, do yourself a favor. Start overcoming your emotions and don't even utter these negative prayers. Know that God is going before you, making crooked places straight. So when you start feeling bad and you start letting your emotions get the best of you, fight back. Don't give in to letting these negative things come off the tip of your tongue. But just to let you know, if you have this moment of weakness and you end up letting some of these negative words come out of your mouth, somebody else might listen. But let me tell you who's not going to listen. God 
is not going to even entertain that type of negativity. And believe me, by him not listening, it's going to benefit you in the future. Remember one thing, forgive yourself because you have already been forgiven by God. And let me tell you, when you can remember that God does not listen to any of the negative prayers that are coming out of your mouth, that's when you can become everything God has created you to be. So, with all that said, me and the beautiful Alundra are going to read your declaration for the week right about now. I declare there's an anointing of ease on your life. God is going before you making crooked places straight. His yoke is easy and his burden is light. You will not continually struggle. What used to be difficult will not be difficult anymore. God's favor and blessing on your life is lightening the load and taking the pressure off. This is your declaration. We really hope you enjoyed this episode of Reset Sundays and we pray you have a blessed and abundant week line ahead. But with all this said, it's been me, Jada Akeem Heffner, and the Alluring.